ko na. Actually, nasend mo naman ako. Ay, saan mo sisend dito? Private chat? Oo, nasend ka na Phoenix. Chat group. Ah, pwede. Ah, dito sa private chat na lang para ma-open yung Phoenix. Nakalive na ba tayo? Ipupush ko na tong ano. Makikita nyo nga. Yes. Uh, yeah. We're live? Yeah. Yes. I think we are live. Yeah, we are live. Okay, hello everybody. Um, welcome back to what? Oh my God, I forgot my introduction. <laughs> yeah, absent. 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 <laughs> what we do? Um, every... Welcome to what we do every. Uh, ah, today's that day of the week <laughs> where we gather a bunch of people to talk, about, uh, chill, however, chat, however, and talk about anything that revolves around the lives of a freelancer. I am Phoenix. And, and I, I got. And, sorry, I know. Bigla go ano ba? <laughs> With bats. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <sorry. laughs> and today we are going to lecture you about five personal skills you can easily transfer to freelancing and how to sell them to clients. Yes. Diba, Anna? Yeah. Mama. Anna, why? What prompted you to? Ako, ladies and gentlemen, ngayon ko lang nalaman itong topic na ito, so this is stress. I'm, I, I'm, I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> Makikirelate ako sa inyo. But what prompted you to um, talk about this topic, Anna? Actually, pang ano to eh, pang newbie to na mga tanong recently din sa flip and sa page din. Kasi di ba usually um tinatanong nila how to start, pero hindi nila alam, not knowing na meron naman na talaga silang skills na pwede nilang i-offer online. So, yun, oh, interesting, interesting. All right, now before we introduce our guests for today, um, Anna, how about we greet our audiences? Yes, medyo madami-dami naman na. Ayan, si dudes, start na daw ng sona. Nako, nagsusona pala, baka makakonti lang manood sa atin. <laughs> Ayan, wow. si... Si Belle from Lawag City, hello. Si Abida Nabi, hello. Renalyn, Richard, Anna Serviano, hello. Uh, Belle, <laughs> maulan na naman daw. Kay Isay nga maulan, nabibigin ko ang tutulog at yeah. lahat. Si Abida pala ay from Pakistan. Si Alex, hello guys. Mm. Si Lulette from Paranaque. Rainy afternoon daw. Ayan. Si Irish from South Korea. Um, Rom Grace from Elokas Norte, hello. Grandma, Baguio City. Parang mga ka, ano mo to, puro taga Norte nanonood. Si Edna from Pampanga. Si Grace from Cabuyo, Laguna, hello. Lay. Yan, Mikaela. I love the topic today daw, sabi ni Mikaela. Si Feo na from Bukidnon. Um, Marian from Legaspi City. Ayan, Melissa, Imuscavite, Jami, watching from my table. Nasa ilalim ka ba ng table, Jami? <laughs> si si Michaela Wash from Santa Rosa Laguna, si Roma, sumabay ang ulan humi, humihina daw ang net. Oo nga kanina mahina din ang net ko. Ayan si Lore. Ayan dumadami naman ang ating viewers so far. Hello Sheila, hello ST from Bulacan, hello Melanie. Ayan. Hello, hello. Stay tuned and pwede niyo ring i-share pala tong aming ano, itong aming um flip chat and show na na chikahan para sa mga bago na gusto matuto mag work from home or like freelance dahil sa ating magandang topic for today. Go Phoenix! All right. All right. So before we proceed, let me ask you also, ladies and gentlemen, if you have any questions with regards to our topic for today, go ahead and ask. And to anybody who wants to chip in and just share your ideas, go ahead. It's it, This is a free country. We... we we encourage you to keep on talking and participate. Napabasa rin namin. Don't worry about that. Have no doubts. All of us, all five of us today, are going to read all your questions and comments. Now, let's proceed to introducing our panel 
Um, we have a familiar face here, Isai. Hello. Why are you here? What are you doing here? Why, Why should I be Why? interested? <laughs> Explain in 100 words. <laughs> no, I, I'm not sure why I was invited, pero kasi I think that I have insights also dun sa skills that we, that we can transfer from, from the corporate world, our personal skills to, to freelancing. So, yeah, kaya ako nandito. Pakini, ba't ka nandito? <laughs> Actually, um, I'm working closely with Miss Anna, and I think um, um, she believes that um, I have also, you know, um, something that I can, you know, I can share to everyone, especially for newbies. So especially for um, young moms like me, na gusto magstart na magwork from home. I see, I see. Wow. So, kung sakaling meron kayong sasabihin na mali, ang may kasalanan niyan si Anna, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Kasi si Anna. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding around. Hindi, hindi lang ikaw ang nag-invite. Eh. Ikaw ang nag-stipulate na ano. Ikaw ang nag-sig-sig sa kukote nila na meron silang something. Oh, oh. Share. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I believe in all of, I believe in all of you and you know, ladies and gentlemen please don't get me wrong I was just joking huh? <laughs> I believe in everybody uh, everybody has their opinion that's why I encourage you to keep on talking uh, down the comment section below and we will definitely take interest on whatever you want to say and how about Rollin um, yes um, introduce yourself hi everyone so I think um what I can share about this topic is um, uh, a client's point of view in hiring uh, um, a freelancer. So uh, um, I'm one of the hiring managers sa, ano, sa inside the VA bootcamp. So we hire newbies who wants to become an intern. So I can share what are the things that I'm looking for in an intern. So yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, okay. That's nice. This is very good. It's very, very smart of you, Anna, to invite these guests. At yeah, least uh, yeah <laughs> we have a dynamic panel today. Oh, si since marami tayong pag-uusapan ngayon, and uh, just uh, let me know if there are any questions out there. But um, Isai, what are these five uh, skills? Um, yung yung Kumbaga, top, um, top no scale din talaga that I'm looking for, and clients usually are looking for, is in communication skills. That's the top, ano sa akin, um, tawag dito, top na skill na hinahanap ko uh, personally. And of course, isa na yung um, time management, yung mga work ethic, um, ano pa ba? Being able to, to work in a team, tapos yung ability nga to to communicate with others kasi nga um, in a poll that I that I made sa sa Instagram natin I asked if um, which is the more important na ano na skills the hard skills yung technical or the soft skills the personal skills and um, this uh, this episode will answer kung alin dun talaga yung mas important I see. Wow. Okay. So we got communication. How important is communication to clients rolling? Yes. Um, for me, communication is uh, important and an important skill, not just in freelancing, in our daily lives, uh, in our relationship, in all aspects, important you uh, communication. And it's important to learn the client's language. Uh, in that way, we can understand the client's needs, uh, desires, and the problems that the client has. So um, you won't be able to uh, help the client if you don't have a good communication skill. So you really have to understand uh, the client. So kailangan mo, um, it doesn't mean that you really have to be good in English. You just need to express your thoughts clearly and um, understand the client. So yeah, that's why it's important. And, yeah, but uh, now, not touch mo itong English na ito. English is one of the things that many of the newbies are uh, intimidated with. Even even the old timers, they are intimidated. They, uh, pero itong mga newbies most especially, because that is what's stopping them. 
So what level of, of English skills do you expect from a from a newbie, from a um, yeah, contractor? I think um, they should be conversational. Yun lang, yun na level lang. Uh, they should be conversational, not really fluent because um, hindi naman tayo in an English-speaking country. We're in a um, second language lang natin yung English. So okay na yung conversational for a client's point of view uh, if you're a newbie. All right. Conversational meaning marunong kang mag yes and no, marunong yes. kang mag ABC, marunong kang mag Yes. So, right. uh, so it's just basically like that. You don't need a a college degree vocabulary para lang para lang makapasok sa freelancing. Is that correct? Is that what you're yes. saying? Yes, that's right. Okay. Tama. That's correct. Yeah. Unless talaga ang ina-applyan niya siguro yung talagang kailangan. ESL. Mm. Mm. Yes, I think oo. Kasi sa ESL talagang naturally you're expected to be great in English because you're going to teach English. Yes. So, yes. I, I, it, it makes sense naman kung if, if, you're on, if you're going to apply for a writing task, naturally kailangan mo ng, ano, kailangan mo ng good grammar. At least decent grammar. It doesn't have to be perfect. Because, in my opinion, well, it's perfect grammar nowadays. Nowadays, there's no perfect grammar. Yeah. And once I want to add, just for knowledge' sake, the English language should not be intimidating. Sa inyo lahat, because ang English eh, halos araw-araw nagpapalit ng 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 rules. Yung mga grammar rules, yung definition of the words, yung mga yon nag nagpapalit palit yon. Because uh, that is what's happening right now nowadays. So, kahit titignan ninyo sa, sa Oxford Dictionary, they keep on changing. Uh, all halos, yeah, every day. So, don't be intimidated. Kung anong ginagamit nila na English, kung anong nakikita nyo, sa, naririnig nyo sa advertisements, sa movies, yung mga yan, just use those and you will be fine. But of course, I hope that you don't start swearing. Uh, wag po kayong magmura. Kasi <laughs> kayo po tong naghahanap ng trabaho. All right? Now, <laughs> Uh, so, what is the what is the second skill, uh, transferable skill, Anna? Second is yung ano. Um, pwede natin discuss time management siguro. Okay, time time management then. Time management, I guess, ipapasa natin kay Akimi kasi she's a, you're also a mother, right, Akimi? Yes. yes. Okay, oh. so... I believe mothers are experts in time management, so care yeah. to share your knowledge about it. Yes, um, time management is very important when it comes to freelancing and also in our daily lives. Because, um, kumbaga, if you manage your time very well, ibig sabihin you're productive. So it's very important in freelancing. So kumbaga, nadi delegate mo yung task kasi kung ano ka na eh, may, kumbaga may to-do's ka na, may ano ka na, may no-organize mo kasi namamani, ano, may sinusunod kang time. And as a mother, it's very important for me kasi um, kumbaga pinasasabay ko yung pag-work and also pag-aalaga sa kids ko. May household chores pa. Yes, yung may mga gawain pa sa bahay, maguhugas, magluluto. So time hmm. management talaga sa sa lahat ng aspeto ng buhay it's very important. Yes. Um, all right. All right. So, uh, do you agree Isai? With the Yes. Team? All right. Ako din parang malaki yung yung ano yung admiration ko. Malaki yung yung kumbaga aspeto ko sa mga nanay if you can work from home. Saludo ka ba? Yes. Because of taking care of my kids. Kasi yeah. di ba most moms kasi yun yung yun yung biggest why eh, why they they um chose freelancing over a corporate career because they wanted to take children and be there during uh lot of milestones na. so um minsan kasi when we start freelancing kumbaga nasa my nasa natin yung hustle mindset so we keep on um hustling working on left and right parang na mas nakakalimutan na natin na yung why natin, why we chose freelancing to take care, spend time with our kids. So, saludo ako dun sa mga nanay, you can still freelance, you can still earn enough, even more than enough, but still be there for their kids and um spend time with their 
with their husbands, with their wives, and men. So time management is a very um a very important skill in freelancing because hindi wala tayong kumbaga walang boss na masasabi sa iyo do this and that and walang office mate na magsasabi sa iyo na oy ako na lang muna diyan because you need to do something else parang ganun unless also unless of course if you have a team like that so ayun saludo ako sa mga moms so may pinakamula kay um pinakamaster ng time management <laughs> O oh, kasi 'di ba ibang-iba naman yung setup kasi pag nag ano nag freelance ka or nag work from home ka compared sa corporate. Kapag kapag ka, halimbawa um sa umaga pag gigising matapasok ka na, yung ano mo mindset mo sa office lang talaga lahat yung work mo, 'di ba? Naka-focus ka. Pero dito kasi talaga pag nag freelance, talagang ako talaga pag gumising ako ng 5 AM, asikaso na ako ng kids niyan. Pag nakaalis sila, saka lang ako niyan makakatutok sa work ko until makarating sila. Pero on the side, marami pa rin talaga ako ginagawa. May sinasabay akong laundry, nagwawalis-walis, ganyan. So, may hugasan pa ng plato. So, ang dami mong kailangan i-ano, kailangan mong i-intindihin aside from dun sa work mo. Talagang kailangan talaga um, na ma-manage mo talaga yung oras mo dito talaga on your own. Kasi hindi ka tulad sa office na, oh, hanggang 9 o'clock meron kayong break. Tapos 12 noon may lunch. Tapos may merienda ulit. Tapos uwi na. Dito talaga, sabay sunod-sunod eh. Tapos kung may maliit ka pala, like si Akimi may 3 years old. Pag nangulit yan, matitigil at matitigil ka talaga sa ginagawa mo, di ba? So yeah. ako, swerte ko at medyo lahat sila natataboy na sa school at konti na lang ang, ano, ang distractions. Pero yung may mga baby talaga, yun ang medyo, ano talaga, medyo mahirap sa umpisa. Pero once na sanay ka na, naging ano mo na yun, naging daily routine mo na yun. So, kayang-kaya naman. Eh, uh, ano ba to? Um, do you have to learn this skill, especially itong time management na ito? Kasi ito ang isang... I think struggle ng halos lahat eh. They, people complain about how they manage their time. They blame it on their poor time management. Pero in my opinion, it is already there. It's deep. It's, it's, it's there. Ang, ang problema kasi sa atin, we, we keep on thinking about it. We, we are just thinking on, on how, to, how to do it, how to, how to put us ganon. When in fact, if we just act, if we just do what is needed, alam naman natin kung anong ipraprioritize natin. Pag alam natin nasusunog na yung kanin, natakbo ka naman para po kayo yung, 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 yung ako, right? Hindi ka naman yung, paano na to? Anong gagawin ko na? Nasusunog na yung kanin. Kakayo pa ba ako? Right? We don't do that. It's it's by instinct. It's snap of a finger, tatayo tayo, and then we rush to to do things. So itong time management na ito, Um, it is really inside you already. Instincts lumalabas yan. But do we have uh, any tools to help yes. us figure right. out at the mga ano? So anyone, anyone of you can talk about what you can, what helps us to organize our time? Sino sa inyo? Yes, um, lalo na sa atin freelancers, there are really a lot of temptations online, sa social media, Facebook, and then mm. mga ano din, mga online games, mga ganon. So, we easily got tempted in managing our time because of that, na, na procrastinate. So there are productivity tools that we can use uh, so we could manage our time and prioritize the important ones. So there, uh, first, uh, yung favorite ko is Trello. So that's, uh, Trello is a project management tool. So you can um, assign tasks that you're doing, uh, what you're doing, all the to-do list you can add there. And then, pwede mo i-set yung kung ano yung ginagawa mo at saka ano yung mga natapos mo na. So, and you can also add labels kung ano yung high priority, low priority, and then medium priority. So, uh, you can use the things like Trello or um, Notion and Asana. Maraming Alam product. Alam ko hindi mo i-mention si Notion. So, so what I yes, want. Si Notion. <laughs> <laughs> si Notion yung ginagamit namin sa, ano, sa VA Bootcamp. So, marami din gamit si Notion aside from productivity. So, uh, yun. Research nyo lang what really works for you. 
And yun, yun. Um, maraming productivity tools talaga. And also, you can, uh, sa app, sa cellphone, uh, there are Pomodoro Technique then mga 25 minutes you need to work, uh, focus on a task, and then there's a break. So, yun, depende talaga kung ano, what will work for you. Yeah. Why is it that every time every time somebody says pomodoro, ang naiisip ko yung menu sa isang Pasta. restaurant dito sa Ano? <laughs> okay, uh, actually, sa actually, yeah. nung iniintroduce yung pomodoro na yan, yun yung lang naiisip ko. Pero, pero ako, mm-hmm. itatagdag ko lang, since yung kay Rollin, yung mga apps for ano, yung tools yung online talaga. Ako, as a mother, ang ang makakadagdag lang, lalo na para sa mga household chores to, kung makakapag-invest ka talaga sa mga, sa mga like automatic na washing machine, para ilalagay mo na lang, mm-hmm. ilalagay mo lang siya tapos after nun, ikaw mm-hmm. nag-work na, antayin mo na lang siyang, ano, matapos and then magsasampay ka na lang later on or or pwede naman, um, yung mga sa, mga tools sa pagluluto like yung mga slow cooker, ganyan or yung, sabi nga ni Phoenix, ganyan, para hindi ka masunugan ng sinahing, rice cooker yung mga tipong ganun, tapos ano pa ba, um, kapag ka, kung halimbawa naman, gaya ni Honey wala pa siya for the meantime na automatic washing machine, dinadala niya sa laundry pinapalaundry niya, kasi yung time mo na ipag ipaglalaba, di ba? Mas makatuto ka pa doon sa client mo and mas kikita ka compared doon sa sayangin ng oras sa paglalaba. Or kung meron ka rin makukuwang mga taga-tiklop, ako talaga nagtitiklop pero on the side, nag, nag-work pa rin magtiklop-tiklop. <laughs> Matutukan mo yung mga anak mo magtiklop na rin para di ba? Hindi masayang yung oras mo. Mas may makakagawa ka ng productive na bagay kumpara sa ano, nakatuto ka sa household chores talaga. So yun, mag-invest ka din sa mga ganong mga ano. Mas mabait talaga si Ana pag magsalita eh. Kasi kung ako magsasabi niya, eh, my time is expensive. Bahala ka ng mag-upload. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I keep saying, right? My time is, oh, my time is expensive. Is, um, so if, if let's say, I am paid $5, $5 an hour, o oh, isipin mo yan, pag maglalaba ka, ilang oras kang maglalaba? O ma- makukuha mo ba yung $5 na yan? Why not just go to work, do the things that you are good at so that you'll be able to earn money to be able to pay somebody else to do something that wastes your time so much. Yes. Right? Just be smart about that. And um, I recommend some of you guys to write a blog regarding ito mga time-saving machines and gadgets that could help you out. Like, yung mga rice cooker na yan, yung mga... Kasi mamaya, baka, mama, baka mamaya may magkakasahod yan eh. Hmm, ano, saan ko kaya gagastusin itong, itong pera kong ito? <laughs> ibinili lang ano, ng, eh, hindi na natin alam. Eh, invest na ibinili nila ng washing machine or or something else. At least that it would help them a lot. Mm-hmm. All right. Alam ko Let's may mga to... blogs din tayo niyan sa Mab. Meron din si Mahar niyan eh. Pwedeng ilagay sa okay. mga All right. Go ahead and share it to the public kasi kailangan din yan ng public. And uh, again, we keep on talking about time management. We need to help people literally how to manage their time kasi uh, saying it is one thing but actually describing how to manage time is different now um mm-hmm. the third one is work ethic eto dito tayo dito ako medyo sensitive kasi eto medyo wala sa akin eh so, <laughs> so, Roland, can i ask you um what what is the typical work ethic that you would expect from freelancers um, asiguro I would look for a freelancer who's uh, focused and uh, who knows what he or she is doing talaga. Um, and also yung positive and passionate about what they really do. That's uh, something that I'm looking for uh, sa mga interns and uh, newbies talaga. So, you need to say work work ethic na ano may nag echo diyan na, na narinig ko ang boses kong katakot-takot <laughs> <laughs> so you mean to say you mean to say work ethic na ano na kailang uh, hindi ba pwedeng kumain sa ano sa harapan ng computer yung mga ganong klaseng ka strict to ba ah, hindi naman <laughs> hindi uh-huh. naman as long as they are <laughs> ano they are focused and ano and um pag uh, and also yung ano yung pet peeve ko kasi yung nagsisinzone lang sa mga 
So, oh, oh. ganon. Pet peeve ko talaga yon So, uh, I really want, uh, siguro yung mga, ano, mga hinahanap yung mga responsive and proactive talaga na mga, uh, you know, ganong mga work ethic. And yun. Kasi, um, sa client kasi, uh, th- th- that their time is also valuable and you should respect mm-hmm. that. And nakaka- <laughs> uh, I have this experience kasi na sinisinson lang ako ng isang, ano, ng isang hinar. And um, it's something that um, na dapat iwasan natin because it would, uh, it's it's raising a red flag and it can, ano, uh, the client can give you a very low feedback. Pag, uh, especially, especially talaga yan sa ano, no, parang ano rin yan sa ibang mga freelancers, parang medyo notorious kapag ka, kapag ka nag-accept tayo kasi minsan ng ano, job offer, tuwan-tuwa tayo, di ba, overwhelmed tayo kasi may job offer na, tayo naman si accept agad without knowing yung mga nakalagay na, na mga gagawin tapos nakakababa out, di ka na magpaparamdam. So dapat ka start talaga, inaalam mo na kung ano dapat yung mga gagawin mo, kung ano yung mga hindi dapat so, parang, well, even yung even yung ano eh, yung you, you you accepted and you th- you thought that you can do the task pero yung medyo na delay ka ng konte because uh-huh. I, yan may sakit ako jan eh yung na delay uh-huh. na delay ka ng konte you pro- I usually promise that I am I work very very fast pero pagdating ng deadline <laughs> ah, hindi ko pa kailan tapos <laughs> yeah, yung ganon make it a point that you talk to your clients make make them feel mm. comfortable kung yes. if you cannot commit to your deadline at least um soften the the blow kasi syempre yung deadline na yan hindi mo alam kung may ibang freelancers na nagaantay para sa sa gawain mo you, you don't we don't know or the clients themselves are really expecting you to deliver dr- or during your deadline yeah. on uh, on deadline eh to soften the blow you have to pag naramdaman mo na ano na medyo delayed ka na communication go ahead and tell them mm-hmm. th- and tell them na na uh, uh, i might be delayed for a couple of hours you y- yung ganun and mm-hmm. don't uh, don't treat it like nagkasala ka ng pagka ano ano kasi <laughs> every time na binibigyan mo ng bigat yang yang feeling mo kasalanan mo dahil hindi ka nga hindi ka nga makaka-deliver the more that magigilty ka the more na hindi na yung mahihiya ka ng makiusap yes. so try not to think that you have committed a crime yes no pare pa para ka clover pa para makarelax ka ng konte so what actually ba doon pa rin papasok yung communication so ano yung communication pa rin talaga mm. yes that's correct now um we have gone through uh three Three skills. Are there any questions, Anna? Yes, ito si Marie, Maria, Mariah, Mariah ba? Nakaka-intimidate po ang mga qualifications ng pag nag-check ako ng openings of work at ibang platform. Tipong nag, magkakamot ka ng ulo at ma-frustrate ka kasi kahit isa doon sa sinabi, ala kang idea. Okay. Uh, quali- qualifications? Um, ano ba? Uh, what Maybe the skills you? required? Baka yung technical the, okay. skills required for the job? Uh, the technical skills. So, if, kung meron sa'yo, bakit ba, uh, if it's just a means of being intimidated, uh, do not. Pero, mm-hmm. let's pretend that, let's pretend that Mariah knows just a little. Pero meron yung mga, meron yung mga required skills na parang it's either hindi niya, hindi niya gets or nakakatakot na yung hindi siya masyadong versed dun sa skills na yun. Um, Akibi, if you were in that situation, what would you do? Well, ako kasi ano eh, since sinabi niya naman na ano eh, kasi kung technical skills, syempre, wala ka talagang laban. Pero pag mga soft skills lang din naman, and alam mo naman may deep knowledge ka, then go for it. So, kumbaga, um, just, kung alam mo kung sarili mo na kaya mo, just believe it, may tiwala ka sa sarili mo, then go for it. Yan. Yan, yan, yan. Go easy, yeah, I was just curious kung anong jobs yung hinahanap niya because if you're searching for 
titles. Mm-hmm. For, then you should have an idea kung ano yung skills na required. For example, I am a social media strategist, so the kinds of jobs that I search for in Upwork are Instagram marketing strategist or social media manager. So nalilist na dun yung ano eh. Actually, searching for, for job descriptions on Upwork is an advantage sa'yo because you get to have a peek of what skills clients are looking for. So for example, if you see na, ay gusto ko ng job na to, pero I don't know these skills. I don't have these skills. So what you'll do is you only have the notes. For example, um, may nakita ng Instagram market, uh, Instagram marketing strategist na job post, and nakita mo, I I don't know this skill, I don't know this skill. But now that you you have an idea kung ano yung skills na hindi mo alam, meron ka ng meron ka ng listahan of the skills that you need to learn. So see if you really yes. want if you really want um to have an online job, don't. Uh, Ang, 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 ang key kasi dito is to change your perspective instead of thinking that this is what I don't know um, think of it something that this uh, these um, qualifications are something that I need to learn see so mm. changes it changes the effect on you if you look at it as some as an opportunity instead of a roadblock instead of a hurdle diba? so um, kumbaga, um, most newbies kasi, ito yung sinasabi nila madalas at um, ay wala naman akong chance dyan sa work because they're looking for experienced freelancers. Actually guys, we've all been there. Every successful freelancer that you know now have been there. So, they, kami din naging newbies, kami din naging walang kamuang buwang sa mga skills na yan. But, um, siguro what made um, successful freelancers succeed is that they they um they chose to learn a skill instead of just saying ay hindi ko yan kaya so that's what that separates freelancers from those who are just aspiring to be freelancers and not really taking action so ayun passionate ako masyad ano <laughs> ako, ako naman di ba kung maghahanap ka kung nagsa-start ka pa lang bakit ka maghahanap ng hindi mo alam di ba start ka doon sa madali i-filter mo kung ano yung kaya mo kasi ako noon nung di coming from a corporate uh, ano job na 10 10 years ako nag work bookkeeper pero ako hindi ko talaga inoffer yung pag bookkeeper kagad kasi parang alam ko marami ng mga uh, may QuickBooks na may zero, hindi ako marunong nun. As in manual, lahat ang alam ko lang na pagre-record ng mga books of account. So, parang ako, nag-start lang ako sa mas madali. And then, nung nagamay ko na kung paano ang kalakaran dito sa Upwork, sa pag online saka ako nag-unti-unting mag-aral ng mga ibang skills na pwede ko nang aralin and pwede ko na rin i-offer later on. So, why start? Kung sa medyo ma- mahirap, kung pwede naman, di ba, na parang mag-ano ka lang, level up ka lang unti Akit ka ng konti. Yeah. Up ka. So, wag kang mag-up. Mag-filter ka, Maraya, nung mga skills lang na meron ka. Take it out. Work it out. Kasi kung mahirap yeah. talaga, mapapakamot ka talaga. Pa, paano mo gagawin kung hindi mo talaga alam? Diba? So, yeah. start ka lang sa patali. Tsaka, I'm a yung right, so... advocate. Oh, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> so, go ahead. <laughs> Sige, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Sino ba? Ikaw muna sa ito. Okay. So, I'm a huge advocate kasi of learning by doing. So, if you don't know something, you have to do it para malaring mo. So, for example, if you're doing it for for a paying client, then maybe you could, um, yun nga, yun sa communication, then you have to tell, you have to be honest sa, sa ano pa lang, ano get go pa lang that, hey client, um, I'm not an expert in this, but I'm very willing to be trained. I, I, I have the uh, I have the willingness to to learn um, a new a new um, software, a new skill, whatever you need. Because at the end of the day, you know, soft skills always win. Because technical skills can be learned. You can Google it. You can YouTube it. You can enroll in courses. But the soft skills, that willingness, that grit, that you that uh, the, the another uh, determination that you show your clients that you really want the job and you really need the job and you you are willing to do everything kahit na aralin mo yun from, from top to bottom just to be able to master that skill clients will see through you clients will see that you are really willing and you are something you are someone that they are they can um, they can invest in because they know that you're you're willing to to do the job parang mm. so, yeah. as a soft skills talaga yun talaga yung major foundation because every yeah. success 
freelancers did not get there overnight nang dahil lang at the yeah. yeah right the, the, the yeah. soft skills really are the foundation eh so ayun kayo naman kimi <laughs> <laughs> anything yeah, to add akimi I, yeah, i agree with that kasi kumbaga it's a learning process kumbaga magsimula ka talaga sa pinaka basic then if you really want to niche down if you want to focus on a specific skills you really have to start from the bottom start from kumbaga sa sinabi nga ni Miss Isa it's the foundation kumbaga as long as you have the willingness to learn and as long as you really have the desire to learn yung mga process sa pag-freelance then of course you'll succeed with that yeah correct oh uh, what about you Roland any thoughts about this Yes, as a uh, uh, client's point of view, I can share something. Na, um, kasi ang um, una ko talaga tinitingnan if this person is willing to learn. Um, yun, yung hungry for learning. Yun yung mga gusto kong hinahire kasi na mga interns. Uh, because uh, iba yung ano eh, may passion to learn and uh, the willingness to learn uh, than someone na uh, Parang hindi alam ko ano yung ginagawa niya. So, um, ayun, um, soft skills are a starting point talaga. Hindi naman, hindi ko na, kung ako, kung ako yung uh, nag-hire ng intern. Um, I'm looking into someone na may strong soft skill rather than yung super uh, experience. Uh, hindi ko naman masyado tinitingnan yung mga super experience, but I uh, always start with uh, the soft skills that they have and ayun basta proactive and willing to learn and th that's good enough for me. And so also, again, it all it it all goes boils down to communication um i want to share uh, some things that that happened to me recently there are two things because it ang, ang binibigay ng, ng the rest of the panel is if you are a newbie now let's pretend that you also have a client now pero may nag pero meron siyang in offer sa yo which you don't know whether you will be able to do it or not yung hindi mo alam so it's either you will learn bibilisan mong pag-aralan yan or um, you will just say no now yung to learn Medyo, you need some skills to delay yung ano eh, yung na, nasasabihin mo sa, sa client na sandali, titignan ko muna, let me assess if, if I can do this or not. Now, that takes quite some skills. Pero it boils down to communication. To me, may, may nagbigay sa akin ng, ng offer. A client myself, uh, a client herself gave me uh, a job na uh, you know, I, I really wanted to, I really wanted to, to do it, pero he, my part doon na hindi ko pa kaya. And it will take me about three weeks to learn that particular skill in video editing, I think. And so I just had to be honest with her. Now, this is a little too, uh, beyond my skills. I can do it up to this point. But after that, uh, I need to learn more about it. And I don't want to take your money just to practice on, on such a project. project. Yun ang sinabi ko sa kanya. And to her, you know what happened there? She admired that I was upfront and honest to her to the point that she recommended me to a new client, which I have now. Wow. See? Wow. Yeah, so if you, if you are being honest and if you are being upfront without flowery words, because if you flowery words, you're just giving excuses. Right? Uh, the more that they will appreciate it, at least they know that you respect them with, uh, with what you can offer. So, uh, yan din, Maraya, stop thinking of what you cannot do. Do not look at those things that tell you that you cannot do this. Yes. Instead, look at the things that uh, enables you, empowers you, because you only you can tell what you can offer. Right? Uh -huh. Look at the things that you can do instead of the things that you that you cannot do. Because uh, wala lang the negative that's that just brings you to negativity. Kaya ano yung mga. Ako din, ako din may share ako Phoenix. Meron din ako ng recent na 
client na magto two months na ako, nung inaccept ko to, sinabi ko din sa client na FB ads actually siya. Wala akong kaalam-alam dito. Tinuturo, tinu- tinuturoan ako ni LJ nito dati pa. Sabi niya, aralin ko ganto ayoko. Tapos so, nagka-client na may offer ng ganto sinabi ko rin naman sa client na hindi ko pa alam to. Wala akong alam. Pero ma- sobrang helpful ng client. Maraming training videos. So parang may learning curve. Parang two weeks yata akong puro training videos. So later on, nakikita na ni LJ na ginawa. Sabi, sabi ko sa'yo, kaya mo yan eh. So parang eto, na- binabayaran na at the same time naka-training pa ako. So parang, ano, kaya mo naman din talaga, parang ano lang talaga, yung willingness mo lang talagang matuto. Talaga, para ano. I want to, I want to put some emphasis on that willingness to learn din eh. Kasi sometimes, uh, uh, sometimes you may be saying na willingness to learn doesn't actually mean that you're asking your clients to teach you. Uh-huh. You should be teaching yourself. Yes. And you should show your progress to your client. If you are really willing to learn, it is not your client's responsibility to teach you. It is your responsibility to teach yourself of that particular skill. And parang si teacher itong si client na magre-report ka, oh, ito, kaya ko nang gawin ito. See, I am oh. learning. Okay. That is how you, yan, yung, yan ang ibig sabihin ng willingness to learn. Ah. So, if it happens na itong si client mismo, itong nag, nagbigay ng access for you to learn some skills, then be grateful. But do not expect your clients to be teaching you themselves. Yes. Ayun. So, parang sabi nga ng client, akala ko ba hindi ka marunong? Magaling ka naman pala. So, magaling yes. ka lang. <laughs> yes. Bye. I love it. Any more questions, Anna? eto si Richard I think masasagot to ni ano ni Akimi kasi galing siya sa ano sa BPO so Go ahead. center veteran daw siya what will be the best freelancing job I could transition with Well okay. um most of pag call center talaga galing is ano mga customer support jobs and telemarketing jobs kasi doon ako nag-start eh So right now I'm working with Miss Ana <laughs> sa isang client namin, we're doing um, customer service. So, yun, yung, yun yung pinaka, ano, pinaka number one na, ano, ina-apply yan ng mga galing sa call center. Call center? <laughs> call center. Call center. <laughs> Alright. Does that satisfy the the question? Meron pa? Meron pa, ano? Hinahanap ko. Hold on. All right. While while Anna is looking for that uh, interesting question, dahil pasensya na kung hindi kayo makapasa kay Anna. <laughs> Sabi ka na, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Just keep on sending those questions. Ayan si Juvi. Ano ang pwedeng sabihin kapag nagtatanong ang client na matatapos mo ba ito? Let's say within a month, then malalaman knowing in yourself, medyo mahirapan ka dahil first time pa lang. O oh, yan, Phoenix. Ang sinasabi mo kay client. <laughs> Kapag matatapos, let's say within a month, then malalaman, knowing yourself, medyo mahirapan ka dahil first time pa lang. Siguro yung deadline. Ah, ah, uh, promise, promising, promising deadlines and if you can finish this within this, why don't you just be honest? Just be honest. Second, yeah, so, kasi sa akin, pag, um, whenever I <laughs> I tend to over overpromise, ano, uh, uh, I tend to overpromise deadlines, but because I am just that uh, uh, cocky bastard, kaya ganyan ako. <laughs> Mayabang lang talaga ako sa clients. So, nag-over, <laughs> nag-over promise ako. But if if it so happen na uh, may, may deadline na gusto ng client na hindi, parang alanganin ka, uh, tignan mo kung gaano ka kaalanganin. Are you gonna be like one day behind? Just one day behind? Or two days behind? Yung mga ganun, i-assess, i-assess mo na agad. Because you need to know yourself more dahil yan ang, yan ang i-demand ng client. So you can tell the client, oh, perhaps uh, I need uh, about three di- three more days? Pag gano, pag one month, pag, pag, pag sinabing, are you going to finish this within the month? And then, pwede mong sabihin na, ano, um, if you could give me a little a little allowance, like maybe three days more, then that would be perfect. Yung ganun, Instead of saying, I'm sorry, hindi ko kaya. You don't, you don't, say, you don't say it that way. Uh-oh. First and foremost, assess. And you can just tell your client up front, na, hold on, let me think, uh, hold on, let me, let me check. 
let me check my calendar. Let me check yung uh, my, don't say let me check my skills, but let me let me take a look. At, uh, let me take a look at what I am going to deal with. Uh, then at least ano um meanwhile mag-usap na lang kayo ng ibang ibang bagay muna and then go back to that topic and tell tell them up front maybe i need a little um a little bit more time like maybe a week after that but ganun. and that will be fine sa kanila just make it soft you deliver it softly you deliver the blow softly uh, what about you guys nag ano ako, nag extend ka, kahit kaya ko ng three days or five days, sinasabi ko one week. Tapos para kapag kapagalit ka matapos, mas matutuwa yung subject ko yung bilis, di ba? Mas matutuwa mm-hmm. siya na, na mas matutuwa yung subject. Compared sa pinag-antay mo siya ng matagal tapos magpapa-extend siya. So ikaw na yung bahalang mag, ano, mag, ano, ng date na patagalin mo kaysa kumpara sa pabibilisin mo, like sinasabi ni Phoenix, tapos hindi mo naman pala, pala kayang i-deliver ng on time. So yun, mag ano ka lang, magbigay ka ng yung expectation mo rin sa sarili mo na ano, para kung madelay ka rin, pero ka pa rin ano, leeway na time para mag due date. Just make sure, just make sure na ano, na you know yourself. Kasi oh. pag pag ganyan na nag-aalanganin ka, y- y- uh, kailangan kilalanin mo muna ang sarili mo. Kasi pag, pag, mahirap na yung nag-over-deliver ka talaga eh. That, uh, you will just get into trouble. Pag minsan uh, mapapasubo ka na lang na magkakaroon ka ng mga negative stars, one star kung, kung ganyan ang ginagawa mo. So you have to make sure about, uh, like you said, you knowing yourself. So if you know yourself, then you should know the limits and express it to your clients and the clients will understand because everybody's human anyway all right um marami na tayong nasa na oras dito sa number 3 na is dito sa number 3 na ito so we got communication time management and work ethic yung tatlong yon wala ako noon so what is number 4 and listening and feedback para ano pa rin communication yung time management uh, listening and providing feedback. Uh, why is this included in the in the transferable skills? Importanting nakikinig listening tayo. and providing feedback. <laughs> Importanting nakikinig tayo. And um, pwede rin tayo magbigay ng feedback natin din ba sa client kung if ever, pwede tayo mag-suggest, di ba? Kung ano man Parang yung... sa communication din to. Parang communication. Na- uh-uh. mm. Yes. The way I see it, ano eh, this is like listening and providing feedback to yourself. Kasi ito ang hindi natin masyadong nababangkit. So yes, you can, we, can, we can easily, it is easy for us to listen to, to complaints. It is easy for us to provide feedback to anyone. But what about yourself? Have you ever, yeah, have you ever spoken to yourself? Have you ever assessed yourself kung what your progress have been? Kung anong nakita mong... Uh, pwede mong improve Have you done that lately? I suggest that you do because for me, number four is quite uh, quite helpful without uh, na ano eh, na hindi mo kailangan bigyan ng laanan ng maraming oras. Speaking of oras, well, number five is teamwork and ability. Now, eto ang absolutely ignorant ako kasi I'm not a team player. <laughs> So, parang mo nga actually yung ano kanya ang post ko. Yes, I mean, the teamwork, kahit na period yan, eh, teamwork and ability question mark ang nasa utak ko. Pa. <laughs> okay, so teamwork and ability. Roland, since uh, you got the point of view of clients, pag ikaw itong nagbibuild, as a client, pag ikaw itong nagbibuild ng team, how how massively important is teamwork kahit na individual skill ang ginagawa naman ang ginagawa naman nitong mga uh, freelancers um yes uh, teamwork is important kasi uh, like sa sa word itself you have to work with a team and um you should uh, be cooperative enough sa mga kasamahan mo and um, you you should be willing to listen. Yon, babalik ni yung listening. Uh, you should be willing to listen to feedback and um kailangan mo makipagtulungan talaga with your team members kasi and collaborate, collaborative uh, teamwork kasi and connect with them kasi who knows the back um yung mga kasamahan mo pala will be your future clients. 
parang ganon so um uh, connect and um always think na um freelancers should always come from a place of help help one another and um share what you can uh share your knowledge and skills with everyone that you work with kasi kung wala ka nun, uh, you won't uh, last long in the industry then. Yeah. Okay. So let's pretend that um kasama di yeah, pilit-pilit ninyo ako sa team eh hindi nga ako mahilig makipag-team ng ano. Hindi ako sa team namin. Kasi I, I know some many, many of us are loners. We want to just in, uh, deal with our tasks. So yeah. how how big is it? Kasi ako, for example, hindi ko alam na, pagbisan, hindi ko alam, nasa team pala ako. All I know is I am talking to one person. That's it. That's mm-hmm. And that's all I wanted. I don't want to have to talk to somebody just to get something and have to talk to another person just to get something. I am not a team player. Pero hindi ko alam, nasa team na pala ako. Pagbinsan may ganun na, may, uh, yeah, pagbinsan may ganun na situation. Sa FCC, magka-team tayo. Oo. So far, hindi ko talaga, hindi ko ginagawa itong communication kasi text ka ng text, hindi ko naman sinasagot. Hindi ko ginagawa itong time management kasi lagi pa rin nakatulog, nabubunutan ng ngipin, ng ganyan, may hirup ka na. Monday, sinasabi ko, Phoenix, Phoenix, Monday na bukas, ha? Nasa ibang time zone kasi siya, kailangan ko palagi siyang sabihin, boy, Monday bukas. <laughs> Si, uh, um, si pagminsan nagte-text si si Ana na oy oh, FCC na eh, ako naman tong nagugulat na akala ko Saturday pa lang bakit <laughs> FCC na Napaka <laughs> 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 nagagalaw ko talaga uh, oh yan walang work ethic kasi ganyan <laughs> lagi wala lagi na lang wala sa time <laughs> listening and providing feedback or oh, at least jan jan nandiyan na ako kasi that is my job <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> sa providing feedback. Pero di ba sa ano sa team natin rolling sa Bab? Yes. Importante talaga 'yun kasi meron kami kanya-kanyang ano role talagang ginagampanan. Like etong ano FCC natin bago to mag live, meron kaming process kung sino ang gagawa nitong event banner, kung sino ang magagawa hmm. ng um nung mga ano, captions, mga content, mga picture and so on. So, so kung hindi masusunod ng bawat team members yung ano namin, magpade-delay. So, yeah. Yeah. kailangan talaga sumusunod ka dun sa ano din. Ayan, nakikipag-coordinate, mm-hmm. nakikipag-communicate. Ayan, communication pa rin. Cooperate. One of the reasons kung bakit ayoko rin kasi ng teamwork is because of, and I think uh, a lot of people have experienced this. Yung, Uh, di ba pagpapasok ka kasi sa, sa mga BPO and even sa factory, there's always politics involved. There's always yung magpapalakasan. There's always this, yung mambubuli na feeling siya itong boss, nagbobosing-bosingan. Meron ba yan kasi sa team? Yes. Sa freelancing? Yes. Kino nang bubuli sa I mean... <laughs> No, no, no. That's that's also one of the reasons why I'm more comfortable working on my own or with my team. You people, talaga na na kung bakit hindi na strangers sa akin. So I'm speaking on behalf of the people like Phoenix who would prefer to work work na nang kami kami lang because there are reasons. So we we want to avoid yun nga yung politics nga sa team, yung yeah. yung um, mga kurakot ng mga sip sip, yung mga ganon. Because oh. and also Also, there are people who work more efficiently on their own, and we cannot force them to work with a team and be be chummy chummy with a team. Kung hindi sila komportable. Now, dito po mapasok yung teamwork ability because if you um if you work in a corporate setting or if you work in freelancing, hindi ikaw yung masusunod. So, for example, ako nung pumasa ako sa May Bootcamp, I saw madami talaga akong kailangan ipag na mga tao to get something because malaking team talaga siya. Diba? So, so um, ginawa ko since um, I want to become um, an efficient na na um, social media manager, I want to become a freelancer that everybody can rely on. Parang ganun. So, um, iniisip ko, even if it makes me uncomfortable, I have to compromise. I have to make 
I have, I have to build relationships with these people, kahit na total strangers sila, like Roland, I didn't know her before the bootcamp. Um, so, hindi ko siya kilala. It, it somehow makes me uncomfortable because um, there they are people na hindi ko talaga kakilala on a personal level. But since you wanted to, to become a freelancer na you know, go over deliver, yung responsible, so you really have to compromise. You have to, um, kumbaga, even if it makes you uncomfortable, kumbaga, see, kung iisipin mo, yung, yung priority mo naman talaga is, is to do your job. And if it requires you na maging team player, if it requires you to to um, interact with people para ma-arrive ka sa results na gusto mo and is expected of you, then you have to compromise. See? See, Phoenix? Compromise. <laughs> <laughs> Sila ang makikipag-compromise sa akin, hindi ako. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding ladies and gentlemen of course I try to I try to be nice with with everyone para naman ano hindi para naman hindi ako makick out dito sa sa <laughs> But yeah the, uh, those are those are the the skills that you need to have um on top of in fact, it is one of those are important skills that you need to have, even more important than the technical skills that you could ever have. So, anuma, kai, kasi alam naman na, it's, it's always a general uh, assumption that kahit gaano ka kagaling sa trabaho mo kung ansa man ng ugali mo, well, you will, walang, ano, you will just be, kung merong mang magahir sa yo, gagamitin ka lang. Hindi yung, hindi yung talagang ikikip ka nila. So once they are done with you and your services, goodbye. But if you are a nice person and you will end the show, uh, hindi yung pasipsip, uh, you're just being nice as a nice person in general, then every, it will roll over to everything that you will do. Hindi lang sa clients mo, even in your life, even in your household, even in your family. Just try to be as positive as you can and that will definitely pour over to everyone. So, uh, what is a transferable skill, um, Akimi? <laughs> we are talking about all of these skills, right? We are talking about all of these skills. I believe. transferable skills po is, I know, um, gener- in general, kumbaga, it is, ano, it is a skills na, ano, hindi required ng, um, training. It doesn't require any coaching. Kumbaga, natututunan yung, kumbaga, nat- uh, um, mahirap siya eh. Kumbaga, it takes a lot of discipline. So, for, uh, for specific, um, for this, transferable skills. So, um, trans- and isa pa, transferable skills means um, it is a specific skills na um, it doesn't belong to a per- particular niche or industry. It's actually a general skill that can, you know, can transfer between jobs, departments, and industries. So, kung baga... Yeah. Yes, and please, sorry. sorry. Yeah. Another term pala din is yung personal skill. Yung, yung yeah. soft skill. Yeah. So, whether you're in freelancing, in corporate, yeah. ad- change ka man ng careers, nasa sa'yo na yun. So, hindi, yeah. kumbaga, hindi na yun mananakaw sa'yo once you have it. Parang, oh, it's a habit. Oo nga eh. Paano kaya yan? <laughs> Next week, <laughs> madam, paano kaya? Kukoach natin siya. <laughs> a transferable skill is a skill that you can use in in any aspect. So it doesn't yeah. mean it doesn't have to be freelancing. It doesn't have to be just corporate. It is something that you can you can use everywhere in every aspect of your life. Meeting any other any people, you can use these skills. So you are not limited to these five uh, skills that we mentioned. Oh, uh, if you have any, uh, if you've got anything to add, just write it on the comment section below. Because these are the skills that 
certain na na in fact ma tinitingnan ng mga clients because everybody can learn how to do these technical skills everybody can can do math everybody can research on google we we, we all can do that what makes you um stand out kasi yan ang isang problema ng mga ibang ano ibang mga freelancers what makes you stand out is mostly your transferable skills or personal skills okay now ladies let me ask you are there any that you want to advertise let's start with itay um advertise so for wala naman pero on monday ah no saturday pala live makati meet up ayun I, I think Ia advertise na din, ipapromote na din yun ni Madam Rita. Yes. Okay. So, hindi na kailang mag-effort kasi memoriado na yan ni Ia. Uh, uh, <laughs> Nahiya ako, may presentation siya eh. Presentation siya, hindi na lang ako mag-effort. <laughs> okay, Roland, ikaw, do you, have, do you have anything to ano, advertise? Um, Q&A session with Miss Bong inside the VA Bootcamp group on August 2. Hindi ko pa sure yung time, basta on August 2 with Miss Bong. Q&A session. Nice, nice. That's interesting. Uh, these are for the students, right? Yes, yes. for the students only. <laughs> so students, uh, get ready for that. And uh, what about you, Akimi? Wala naman po. <laughs> Wala ka bang Monsters? Monsters Monday. Do you have any blogs or any projects that you want to promote? At tayo nyo, magkakaroon siya soon. Ako talaga nag-ano. Sige, Anna, go. Fire away. Nag-handle pa yung career kasi ni Anna Kimi. Anna, actually. Manager. Ako manager niya. Oh, go manager. Pasisikating ko yan si Aki. <laughs> Dari lang. So yan, advertisements on ano, July 24, sa Wednesday, 7 p.m. Um, interview with Janelle Ariola. Um, si Bossing ang mag-interview with Jason Dulay. What's her secret sauce to becoming a social media extraordinaire? Ang daming nangyayari. Secret sauce at saka extraordinaire. Pakinalo nga. <laughs> <laughs> so, July 24 and 7 p.m. Huwag niyong kalimutang panuuran. Medyo late, ha? 7 p.m. With Jason Dulay. And, ayun nga, yung pinapromote kanina ni Isay sa Sabado, July 27, 1 to 3 p.m. Uh, flip Meetup Makati sa Jollibee Pure Gold po ito. Ako ang kanilang special guest with Holly Okaya and Elazar Jose. Ayan, meron palang ano to, um, libreng photogra photographer na may yung headshot <laughs> headshot headshot ano ba basta yun may libre Kumpunta so may headshot niyo yung photographer oh yung photographer <laughs> <laughs> oh oh tama so hindi may fee to na 300 pesos may registration fee pero kasama naman yung food and drink so register lang kayo sa events frame kung uh, attend kayo para hindi kayo maubusan ng slot sa sabado july 27 1 to 3 pm how to earn dollars without working uh, without leaving the country without working from home to learn. <laughs> How to earn dollars without leaving the country yung topic namin. So, attend na kayo kung sa Makati lang kayo. And if you are new sa VAB page, join kayo sa Facebook group natin sa Flip Freelancers in the Philippines. Maraming may useful blogs, threads, at mga uh, mababait na moderators at mga admins na matutulong sa inyo kung gusto nyo mag-start ng inyong um, mag-work from home o pag-freelancing. So, meron din kaming, ay, hindi ko na ayan, may bago kaming group. Kami actually yung sinasabi ko si Akimi, si Mahar, si Ivy, si Mary, uh, mga moms yan. Parang ano naman to, pag ni-niche down namin to, parang nakatuto kami sa mga inay naman, sa mga mothers. So hindi lang pag freelance yung ano dito, ang ang inyong matututunan. So nandiyan yung time management, family, eh, parenting, chore yan. Um, join lang kayo kung mother kayo. Mother lang ha. <laughs> Bawal ang single. <laughs> Yes, you don't bother, <laughs> so now, nagpasan ko pala yung ano, yung ating uh, VA Bootcamp that PH. If you're, uh, if you want to enroll, um, punta lang kayo sa page VA Bootcamp uh, page sa site VA Bootcamp PH. If you want to invest on yourself, like katulad namin, mga VA Bootcamp students kami si Isai, si Akini, si Rollin. Yung mga mga soft skills nyo, personal skills na meron kayo kung gusto niyo pang madagdagan, um, magkaroon ng VA skills at 
makakatulong sa inyo ang VA Bootcamp, meron din kaming free course. Punta lang kayo sa freevacourse.com. That's all, folks. May napansin ako sa, sa comment section, may mga tanong ng uh, kung kung ganito ako, anong anong job ang bagay sa akin in freelancing? Kung bookkeeper ako, kung uh, BPO ako. And this is very commonly asked sa sa flip. And it's okay, go ahead and and uh, there's no harm in asking that sa, dito sa flip page natin. But one thing I can say is uh, as I've said before, Uh, don't look at what you cannot do. Look at what you can do. Lahat ng kaya mong gawin, pwede mong i-apply sa freelancing. Even with just as simple as if you can type, as basic as you can type, marami kang mapapasukang work dyan. Just look for those uh, that offer uh, that offer the jobs that you can do. And now, whether you go to Upwork, whether you go to freelancer.com, whether you use Fiverr, Fiverr or not, Fiverr actually is a very good example because it's a Fiverr. Invest na sila itong maghanap ng ng job. Uh, invest na clients ang maghanap ng ano ng freelancers. Ikaw mismo ang mag-advertise ng pwede mong i-offer sa kanila, and they will buy your your skill, whatever you're offering. So yeah, uh, check Fiverr out. Because that is a very good uh, way of exercising you selling your own product. So please do note of that. Now ladies, let, uh, alam ko overtime na tayo, pero wala si Pinky ngayon. So <laughs> let, me, let me ask you some one-liners. Let me start. Let's start with um Akimi. Akimi? Well, um... Ang advice ko lang po eh, sa mga gustong mag-start na mag-work from home, especially for moms, um, just believe in yourself. Kung baga, kung ano yung gusto nyo gawin, kung ano yung gusto nyo i-pursue, kung baga, sabayan nyo siya ng pagtitsaga and also trust the process. Hindi lahat ng ano, hindi lahat ng gusto natin, makukuha natin sa isang inlog. So, I, kung baga, I've been there and also um, one of my goals then is to help others, especially mommies, na mag-start from working from home and sana um, always, you know, be, um, maging active lang kayo sa flip kasi they, we also, we give a lot of advices and we, ha- we always do um, this um, live streaming. Kasi it helps a lot. Kasi nag-start din ako dito eh. Before um, nag-start ako, pinakauna kong napanood sa ano, is nang just success is si Miss Days Virtudaso. And yeah, mm-hmm. ayun, inspire ako. Yes, na-inspire ako. And dun, dun ako nakapag-start. And ngayon, I'm earning every, ano, every sacrifices that I made before. Nice. Well, uh, guys, that is important. Kasi marami talaga tayong isa sacrificial. It is uh, yeah. investing for for the in the name of freelancing. Marami talaga yan. But yeah. yeah, as Akimi said, wow, she is earning every sacrifices that she that she made. No, thank you. That's beautiful, Akimi. What about you, Roland? Okay, so. Uh... <laughs> And advice for freelancers. So, um, identifying your transferable skill is a good thing, but you also have to consider how can these skills answer the client's needs on their business. So, we have to tie benefits to each transfer- transferable skill so we can win jobs. So, think beyond your skills and market the benefits that you can give to the clients. Nice. Um, oh, Miss Universe. I love it. Because despite all kahit gaano ka naman ka, yung sabi ko naman kanina is kahit gaano ka kagaling kung hindi ka mabait, eh, walang wala rin pa uh, lalaki. Paano yung Phoenix? Huh? Hindi ka mabait. Walang lalaki. <laughs> eh, eh, hindi nga ako team player. Eh, it's okay. <laughs> Pero si Rolly naman, ang argument niya is kahit gaano kakabait, kung hindi naman yan ang kailangan ng client, yeah. you know, wala, ring, wala ka rin mapapala. So it, it is a balance of, of everything. We try to look for balance kung, kung pwede, as much as we can. Nice. Thank you very much, Roland. And Isay? 
Wait lang. Bebela akong dagat. <laughs> 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 and then, kidding aside, um, don't focus on one, what you cannot do, yung mga technicals that you lack. Focus on what you already have, what you can do, okay? So, our personal skills kasi we often um, overlook because we think that we, we cannot get the job because we are not an expert in this and that. But um, your, your, ano pa lang, your um, resourcefulness, your research skills, your grit, your hustle, those skills that you have inside of you, your focus, that is enough to get you to, to, to land a job, to have a client. Because at the end of the day, hindi na nga kailangan yung client ng super magaling sa ganto ganyan, pero, pero hindi nagre-reply. Hindi kailangan ng client no, um, super expert sa Facebook ads, pero hindi sila nagkakaintindihan. ba? So, just focus on what you already have and nurture it and gamitin mo yun. For example, if you have the willingness to learn, if you have the grit to learn a process, to learn a system, to, to learn a software, then use that because that alone will will help you land a job. See? Sabi sa'yo, gagaling ang ko eh. Gagaling. Alam tayo. Na-pressure. Na-pressure yung kilay ko. Na-pressure ang bangs ko sa'yo. <laughs> oh, Anna, the nana of them all. Okay, ayan. Kung, eh, kung may mga newbies dyan na nahihirapan kung paano mag-start, um, ganun talaga sa umpisa, kung nahihirapan ka, ma- marami ding mga katulad, sa- katulad namin na ako personally, nag-start na nahirapan, hindi ko rin alam kung paano mag-start. Pero yun, um, huwag ka lang sumuko, um, continuous lang, be consistent. Kasi wala naman talagang madali sa umpisa. So, until matutunan mo kung paano talaga gawin ito, and ma-realize mo na um, ito pala talaga yung gusto mong gawin dahil sa mga anak mo na gusto mong makasama and all, or i-weigh in mo lang kung gusto mo bumalik sa corporate, andyan si traffic, andyan si office politics, andyan ang um, hirap sumakay and all. Dito sa pag-freelance, ang mahirap lang maghanap ng client, um, paano magsimula. Tapos after nun, kapag nakahanap ka na, dire-diretsyo na. Oh, so, Iyon, i-ano mo lang, i-weigh mo kung saan ka ba. Kung gusto mo ba sa traffic, gusto mo ba sa bahay. Ayan. Kung, pero yon wala namang madali kahit saan, kahit anong piliin mo. Pareho pa rin mahirap yan. So, um, nasa sayo ang desisyon kung anong gusto mong gawin sa buhay. Okay, thanks. Bye. Diba? Isa, rin, isa rin eh. Talagang pinaghandaan din eh. Ano yung pinaghanda pa lang ako dito. I I remember I remember I asked you a question a while ago Anna what was the what was the reason why you wanted to talk about this topic today I don't know what what prompted you to 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 Yun yung mga usual tanong mga, ng mga newbies kung ano yung um, meron ba silang skills na ma-offer so yun yeah, nag-start tayo sa personal skills anong meron na sila yeah. Yeah, yeah, but uh, so, yeah, now, 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 I, now I remember what I was supposed to say. So, I remember what I was supposed to say. I remember what I was supposed to say. I remember what I was supposed to say. I remember I was I to to what I Kung ano man ang meron sa you can actually use it online. You can use it to work online. Even even if you're just nagbabantay ka lang ng store, yung mga skills mo that is multitasking already or just being a mother. Being a mother is is a very complex lifestyle na housewife ka. Hindi yan nila lang. So don't ever say, don't ever call yourself housewife lang po ako, nanay lang po ako. Because those, with those, you already have garnered lots of skills. Multitasking, tolerance, yung mag- pagiging mabait. G- yan, kailangan mo yan. That's a soft skill that you need to deal with clients because there are so many clients that are also cranky or grumpy na katulad ko, madaling like mapilog. <laughs> Yeah, th- if if you can if you can manage people like that, then that is already considered a skill. Remember, uh, a couple of weeks ago, we were talking to a panelist. Na ang trabaho niya is pagiging alarm clock, as oh. simple as a human alarm clock. So if somebody could look for a job like that, can find a job like that, then how much more? Atong mga technical skills na meron sa So 
ang pumipigil lang sa'yo is doubt. Relieve yourself from that. Free yourself from that. Be confident on what you have so that you will be able to know what you can do. And that is what you should offer to the world of freelancing. Yo. Thank you very much for coming <laughs> this week and I hope to see you next week. Bye! Oh, akala nyo, ha? <laughs> akala nyo. Kaya, pero isipan. Bye! Bye!